passed, and the Viking warriors continued on their pillaging voyages and grew ever richer. The Viking chief was proud of his people, but he was greedy, single-minded. He wished to expand his village, regardless of the consequences. The chief despised Ardmar. He'd never fought for his village and survived off their scraps. But the chief would tolerate this behavior no longer. Ardmar would have to single-handedly loot the forest, burn it to the ground so their village may prosper. And if he refused, he would face the same fate as his old friend Vaska. After being ridiculed by his village, Ardmar ran home to his hut. Odmar felt hurt and lost. He loved his people, but he couldn't be what they wanted him to be. Perhaps he thought he wasn't a true Viking. Maybe some sleep would do him good. Odmar couldn't believe his eyes. At his side was his long-lost friend Vaska. And in front of them stood the hallowed gates of Valhalla. Wait! cried Ardmar, as his old friend stepped into the light. In front of Ardmar appeared a strange apparition, a forest fairy. She condemned Ardmar's selfish ways and his squandered potential. He had let down those closest to him. He did not deserve a place in Valhalla. But she offered him a deal, a great power. If used correctly, Perhaps he could earn his place in Valhalla, but at a price. Odmar woke up with excitement. What a strange dream. It felt so real. And how did this pouch get here? Was this what he saw in his dream? He looked inside the bag. A mushroom? Yeah. <laughs> 
Hmm? <laughs> 